Hello, this is Dr. Susan Mara, and this is Dr. Mara's Medical Minutes. And today we're going to talk about um, methylene blue and red light therapy in Alzheimer's disease. So many of you already know methylene blue is, is a blue dye, and it's a very old drug. And it's turning out to be excellent for you for the use in tick-borne illness and it's um, got anti-malarial properties it's anti-inflammatory it crosses the blood-brain barrier it um, squelches oxidative stress um, it's really an, a pretty amazing drug and we use it quite a bit and interestingly enough methylene blue absorbs red light at about 650 nanometers so that's in the red light spectrum and when it absorbs red light it actually makes methylene blue work better there is one downside sometimes when you add photobiomodulation or red light to methylene blue you can cause a syndrome called serotonin syndrome which you do not want and you know that's characterized by agitation, um, increase in blood pressure, um, mood instability, and so you don't want to dose at the same dose of methylene blue without red light that you use with red light. You want to have a lower dose, probably more like 25 milligrams twice a day, as opposed to 100 milligrams twice a day. And that's to avoid the potential for serotonin syndrome, which we don't want. And you know, I'm all about the safety. I'm willing to do these far out things, but only when they're done safely. It turns out that methylene blue and red light therapy applied to Alzheimer's patients is turning out to be a phenomenal um, treatment. And that shouldn't come as any great surprise, right? Um, methylene blue crosses the blood-brain barrier. It diminishes inflammation. Well, Alzheimer's is all about inflammation in the brain. And, um, and so does photobiomodulation. It reduces inflammation all over the body, the brain, the body, the tissues. So when they work in combination, it is, it's rock star. And um, I just read a paper where they used... Um, red light at 650 nanometers with methylene blue and they are turning people around that have cognitive decline and um, this is a major major breakthrough because up until this point we have not really had good therapies that work for Alzheimer's disease it's very difficult to treat because it takes years to develop and then once you show signs it's almost as if it's too late, but not anymore. So looks like methylene blue, lower dose methylene blue, 25 milligrams twice a day, maybe 50, depending on the person. And red light therapy looks like it might be um, a antidote for Alzheimer's disease. So um, I wanted to make a video about this because it's pretty cutting edge. I mean, it's really not, both of these things have been around for decades, for, you know, hundreds of years, not hundred, but a long time. And, but we never thought to put them together until COVID came. And methylene blue was used with photobiomodulation for COVID. And um, it really was a, uh, you know, really, really, really helpful to a lot of people who had severe inflammation with COVID. So I hope that this information has been helpful to you and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.